Overwatch 2 play of the game. Whether you've played Overwatch or you've seen someone else play it, you've probably seen a play of the game at one point or another. Anyone who's ever played Overwatch has done something they thought was super play worthy, but then a D.Va Alter or a Mercy Res will get play of the game. It's frustrating, but there is a reason for it, and I'm here to tell you what that reason is. There are four categories that the game uses to determine the play of the game. Each one of the four categories that I'm going to explain will give you points for completion. The person at the end of the game who accumulated the most points will get play of the game. If you still received points but didn't get play, you're rewarded a highlight. Now let's get into the four categories. The first category and the most common is called high score. The high score features killstreaks and multi-kills, meaning it's the category you probably see in your game most often. However, just because it's common doesn't mean some things can outrule high scores. Normal kills are worth more than ultimate kills, headshots are worth more than normal kills, and environmental kills and solo kills also heavily impact this. This is why there will be times when you get a 3k but a Lucio boot gets play. The second category is called Lifesaver. This category features situations where a player saves a teammate from ultimate death. This means it is mostly seen with support, but not always. For example, someone is attacking your teammate, but you're able to kill the enemy before they kill your teammate. To get the most points with Lifesaver, it would typically be saving a teammate from a Reinhardt charge, a Roadhog hook, or anything of that nature. The third category is Sharpshooter. This category is pretty simple and self-explanatory. This category typically features skillful kills, so the game will look into the distance, movement speed, positioning, etc. of the kill. It's typically shown with characters like Widowmaker or Ash. The fourth and final category is Shutdown. This category is meant to feature moments where one player interrupts another player, like a player killing another player in the middle of casting an ultimate or stun locking someone out of an ultimate, stuff like that. However, for it to be considered a play-worthy shutdown, the game will predict how impactful that ult would have been in the first place. For example, if you kill a Mercy while she's in the middle of casting Valkyrie, it probably won't give you many shutdown points if the Valkyrie wasn't going to do anything anyways. So with all of the four categories explained, I hope it makes at least a little bit more sense now and you won't be too upset at the tob that keeps getting play. See you next time.